Hi children, today's story is going to be an Alfie and Annie Rose story. This is one of my class's favourite stories to have, Alfie and Annie Rose stories. And this book has got lots of stories in it. The story I'm going to read today is going to be called Proper Words. So if you've got this book or an Alfie and Annie Rose story called Proper Words, you might want to go and get it so we can go through together. Annie Rose could walk quite well, but she couldn't talk properly yet. She could say only four words. They were Mummy, Daddy, No and More. The rest of the time she talked in a private Annie Rose language which nobody else understood. She talked to her toy lamb and she could turn the pages of Alfie's picture books and read the stories aloud to herself using lots of different voices. And she, wasn't very, and she was very good at getting people to understand when she wanted something. In the mornings when Mum went to collect Alfie from nursery school, she took Annie Rose along. Annie Rose was always very interested to see all the children coming out of school. Her favourite person was Alfie's best friend, Bernard. Whenever she saw Bernard, she shrieked with joy and waved her arms and kicked her legs about. Bernard wasn't very polite to Annie Rose. He would pop out his eyes at her and move his jaw from side to side and gibber like a chimpanzee. Annie Rose didn't mind. She just laughed and laughed at Bernard's funny faces. One day, Bernard and his mum came to tea at Alfie's house. The mum sat in the kitchen and drank tea and chatted while Alfie and Bernard went off to play together. Annie Rose wanted to join in too, but they wouldn't let her. They hid behind the curtains and kept as quiet as mice, while Annie Rose went about the room looking for them. She couldn't find them because she wasn't very good at looking. Quick, there's a crocodile, shouted Bernard, when Annie Rose gave up and settled down to play on the floor. Then he and Alfie jumped up onto the sofa and pretended that they were on the rock in the middle of the river and Annie Rose was a crocodile in the water, coming to eat them up. When Annie Rose tried to climb onto the sofa too, they pulled up their legs and pretended to be frightened. Poor Annie Rose didn't understand that game. She wanted Bernard to make funny faces at her. Goo gurra she said. Why don't you teach your baby to talk properly, Bernard asked Alfie. I'll teach her if you like. Who's that? said Bernard to Annie Rose, pointing at Alfie. Annie Rose didn't answer. She just pointed at Alfie too. What's my name then? Bernard asked her next. Annie Rose answered in Annie Rose language. It sounded like Borra Blodder Doon. No, it's not. It's Bernard, Bernard told her. Bernard! 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 He shouted. And each time he said it, he hid his face in a cushion and popped out at her. Annie Rose thought that that was a wonderful joke and she laughed and laughed. When it was time for Bernard to put on his coat and go home, Annie Rose was quite upset. She held him very tightly round the waist wanting him to stay and make more funny faces at her. The next day, Annie Rose was sitting in her pushchair, sucking her thumb and singing to herself while she and Mum waited for Alfie outside the nursery school. Bernard was the first to come out. He was wearing a paper hat, which he'd made that morning. He had painted his big eyes and rows of pointed teeth on it. When he saw Annie Rose, he spread out his arms and swooped down to her, making loud, zooming noises. Annie Rose smiled. She kicked her feet and held out her arms to him. Bernard, she said. Bernard, stop zooming. Bernard, said Annie Rose, again very loudly and clearly. I do believe Annie Rose has learnt to say your name, Bernard, said Mum, surprised. I never heard her say that before. Then all the mums and dads who were waiting too stopped chatting and smiled at Annie Rose. Bernard, said Annie Rose firmly, pointing at Bernard and looking round at everyone. She was very pleased with herself. I've taught your baby to talk, Bernard told Alfie when he came running up to join them. Alfie didn't think much of Annie Rose's cleverness. To tell the truth, he was rather annoyed that she hadn't learnt to say his name first. She was his baby sister, after all. Annie Rose soon learned to say Alfie's name and many other words too. But from that time, Bernard always made special faces for her when he came out from school. When he came to play at Alfie's house, he put her into a cardboard box and shoved her about all over the kitchen floor. Annie Rose liked that better than anything. More Bernard, more Bernard, she would shriek happily. And that's the end of that story. Thank you for watching, children. See you tomorrow.